Okay, go ahead and answer her, her question. Go okay. for it. Um, mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think as creatives, I, th I think we have to understand that, that, that really in the end, suffering is actually what drives creativity. Not necessarily in a, in a negative sense, I think, I think we suffer joy, uncontainable joy, and it's the, 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 the pain of keeping it in that forces you to externalize. So the creative impulse is to take whatever's percolating here, it can't be contained anymore, and externalize it. So you, you write a poem, or you, you make a quilt. Um, a dance, you make a kid. Like you know I mean, like honestly, I think, honestly, I think creation in the end is not that God is lonely and um, and, and needed needed someone to talk to. I think, I think within the Godhead there was a building up of mutual othering, of joy, of ecstasy that became a suffering, and God had to externalize. And I just sort of think it's like He just had to make a walrus. I mean, I'm just. He just had to, and, and then he had to have water, and he had to have all. This. And, I, and I think basically, the creative impulse was from the pain of uncontainable joy. So suffering in itself is not the problem. I think though there can be suffering that's caused from brokenness and, and deep woundedness that can be redemptive. But I think I think part of the artistic nature on the on the broken side of this has been self indulgence. You know what I mean? And I don't. And I, and I think it's okay to sort of self indulge a little bit, but there needs to be, I think, among us, folks that help us move beyond that sort of self indulgence is can't be sort of rewarded in forever. <laughs> and at some point, we need to tap into something that helps us transcend those moments. And that doesn't mean that we have to re redeem evil. We, uh, evil is not redeemable. Evil is not redeemable. Evil is evil. Um, but at the same time, for those of us who have, you know, in, especially in the Christian tradition, the disciplines on focusing on who God is, and a contemplative spirit, um, of enlisting the help of the saints in terms of the deep prayers of people who have suffered and who have moved on. So like Christina Rossetti, the great 16th poet, century's poet who wrote, um, uh, uh, Christina Rossetti? <laughs> Christina Rossetti, she wrote, it's the most beautiful Christmas hymn ever. Um, snow had fallen, snow on yeah, snow, yeah. snow on snow. In, in the deep, deep midwinter. Bleak midwinter. Yeah. Bleak midwinter. Yeah. She was a depressive. She's, I mean, my mother's a depressive. She, my mother has been spent a good part of her life in mental hospitals um, dealing with... Um, um, a chronic depression and anxiety disorder and, and all that kind of stuff. But she still, again, tapped into beauty. She was a piano player. And she would she would sit for hours and, and play. Um, I, I remember as a kid, mom putting us to bed, she'd wait for about half an hour. And then she would sit down at the piano when she thought we were asleep and she'd start playing. And she played at two or three o'clock in the morning. It was her therapy. Um, and she and, and it was the most classic hymns, Gershwin. Um, and I and I and I grew up being bathed in melody as I drifted in and out of sleep. Mm -hmm. And it was my mother's suffering that drove her to exercise beauty to get beyond the wound of the of the fall, which which was manifesting in her life as anxiety disorder. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and so it was it was using the arts not to and I think as Christians we do this really we do this horrible. We deny the existence of suffering. So everything becomes happy clappy. And that's just so wrong. But at the same time, we don't want to indulge. We need to use beauty and, and the aesthetic arts to honor suffering and to acknowledge it, but actually transcend it. And so again, we're not moving towards happy clappy, but we are moving towards majesty and glory, something that, that pulls us out. Does that answer your question at all? Yeah, it's good. Okay. It's awesome. Thanks. Steve Bell, ladies and gentlemen. If I come back. Just come near anything he ever does. <laughs>